Welcome to MJV Podcast. To start with Maria Dolores Noval, Julian and Ibernaza, and Vienna Lee Tempus. We will be talking about the online classes. First part will be the introduction of online classes. Second will be the factors in affecting online classes to the students. And lastly would be the disadvantages and advantages. Without further ado, let's get started. Hi, good day to our listeners for today. I wanted to welcome you all in today's Hear It, Say It. This is Vienna Lee, one of your speakers. So today, the number one problem of our country I mean, the world's problem actually is the pandemic, the spread of COVID-19. It affected many things and situations. Focusing in our country, it affected many livings, aside from the lives of each individuality. It caused many institutions to shut down, which includes the churches, the malls, some shops, and also schools and universities. At this point, let's talk solely about universities, schools, and more on to the students. When the face-to-face classes are being banned because of this pandemic, the plan of having online class booms in the country. And a lot didn't agree to this. Maybe you'll think that all of this talk, this talk that I'm about to say will be useless because we're almost done of the first time while having this online class. We're almost December, but let me flash back some time months ago for the start of this whole talk. Blended learning and online class was being suggested to be our mode of learning. A lot of students aren't happy to hear that. They started voicing out their concerns and kept on complaining about it. The hashtag academic freeze even arises at the time of planning. Everyone did not totally agree with this. They used their voices and social media platforms to make it stop. But as you can see, online class was pushed through. Even though students didn't feel like someone listened to their concerns, they still accepted it. Everyone accepted the challenges that may occur in this online class. Some made preparations and heard out their students' concerns. There are universities that are giving digital devices. Some gave connectivity kits. And some were given extra load for mobile data and connect for mobile data connection. But then it's just some of them. Not everyone was giving the privilege to have these. Not everyone is digitally equipped and financially equipped for this online class. That's why the frustration was felt even though online class haven't started yet. There are other people who said that it is the student's choice to enroll and not to enroll in this online class. But is it really considered as a choice? Is it frustrating enough to not catch up with one subject or lesson? How much more if being left behind in one academic year? Moreover, again, everyone pushed through, struggled, and faced this online class. Now, the factors and some effects will soon arise. As we will about to continue this talk, Julian and Dolores are going to share the situations, factors, and effects of this so-called online class. Again, this part of planning are struggles, are the struggles, one of the struggles and booming of online class. So now, let me give you to our remaining speakers, Maria Dolores and Julian Ann. Thank you so much, Vianoli Tempest, for the very detailed information about the introduction of online classes. And now let's proceed to Maria Dolores Noval for her words about the factors in affecting the online classes to the students. Marie Noval? Hi everyone, this is Dolores and today we're going to talk about the factors affecting online classes. This year is really hard for us in so many ways because a lot of calamities happened as well as the spread of COVID-19 pandemic which greatly affects our mental health and our emotional health. But I know that all of us is trying all we can do to cope up with our problems. COVID-19 didn't hinder the educational institutions to open up classes. 
Some open up classes through modular and some are through online. So let's focus on this online thingy. Online classes is a course conducted over the internet. They are generally conducted through a learning management system in which students can view their course syllabus and academic progress as well as communicate with their fellow students and their course instructor. Online classes can be in a synchronous or asynchronous mode of instruction. Online courses, especially college online courses, can be quite beneficial for a busy student and can often be more cost-effective than traditional classes and can be done in a pace that the student is comfortable with. However, not everyone could really handle this online learning. Why? It is because of the different factors faced by our teachers and students, and those factors are the network stability, the financial incapability of the parents or guardians, the lack of knowledge about the internet by not just the students but the teachers as well, Let's not also forget the different problems that the student or the teacher encounters in their homes. These are some of the factors that really affects the learning of the students. Yes, it's sad. Sad to think that every one of us is fighting. We need to be strong at this very moment. We need to strive harder than before to be free from all of these obstacles. Let's think positive and never forget to trust in God, for He is the greatest of all things and the protector of all. Before saying goodbye, I want you guys to remember these sayings, which is the Ora et Labora, which means to pray and work. Yes, while you pray, you must also work and do your part. And the second one is the Bene Omnia Facere, which means to do all things well. So you must do everything with love and compassion. Show kindness and generosity to everyone. So again, this is Dolores, now signing off. Thanks for listening. Thank you, Dolores, for giving the factors in affecting the online classes to the students. And now let's proceed to the disadvantage and advantages of online learning. So, online learning is a great revolutionary alternative to traditional training. It is also a form of distance learning that takes place over the internet. It is also a interchangeable with the term e-learning. Online learning can include online courses, exams, and certification training as well. So, the five advantages of online learning would be, first, reduced cost. The most obvious advantage of online learning comes down to economics. Online learning cuts many of these costs, including the associated with hiring an instructor, booking a facility, printing materials, and travel. Second would be the flexibility. Flexibility is a major benefit of online education. Students who may not have the ability to participate in traditional classes can often take online classes. A full-time worker returning to school, for instance, can schedule reading, writing, and test time in the evenings or in weekends. Additionally, students may blend online and traditional classes to fill out a schedule when they work part-time or have other life demands. Third, convenience. Closely related to flexibility is the convenience of online courses Students sometimes simply prefer completing their education from the comforts at home. This limits the need to travel, which also means time and cost savings. Additionally, students who can easily get distracted by the sounds and interaction of a regular classroom can set aside quiet space for study at home. For schools, internet offering expand class access to a student's outside of the local market who want to take classes So, online. for the disadvantage of online learning, number one may be limited social interaction. A common disadvantage of online education is limited social interaction. While online students often engage peers in online discussions and interact with teachers via email, this doesn't replicate the face-to-face -face experience in a traditional classroom. The informal social interactions with peer become and after classes helps instill a sense of community and belonging. 
You also have more direct connections with teachers and can ask questions during class to expand insights on a topic. Many classes also use student work groups to develop teamwork skills. Next would be the lock of structure. Self-disciplined students can benefit from the flexibility and convenience of online classes. But the lack of formal structure can be a pitfall for undisciplined or unmotivated students. You don't have a standard meeting time and you don't have regular direct interaction with teachers and peers who can remind you of assignments and push you to work harder. Online students who lack self-discipline can fall behind on assignments, fail to study, adequately by test deadlines, and ultimately suffer because of lack of initiative and engaging structure course via email or phone. Therefore, online learning has several challenges such as lack of feedback from students and lack of proper technology to effectively conduct online learning. These limitations can be overcome by upgrading the e-learning systems and the use of online discussion forums and new web-based softwares. For me, online learning is beneficial to the students tutors, and the institutions offering these courses. In my opinion, I would therefore recommend that online learning be implemented in all learning institutions and research on how to improve this learning process and how should it be carried out. And that would be all for today and that would be the last part of our podcast. For the recapulation, Ms. Vianna Lee Tampis provided us the introduction of online learning or online classes. And Ms. Dolores provided us the factors and affecting the online classes to the students. And I provided you guys the disadvantage and advantages of online classes to the students or the learners. So that would be all. MJV signing off. Thank you.